Hello, welcome to STEM School. In this lesson, we are going to learn regrouping with decimals. Now, let's take a look what we need to do here. Okay, so we make make uh, five point seven in two different ways. Okay, so let's look at the table here. We got ones place and we got tens place, right? So at ones place, first we got five at ones place. So what about tens place there? It's basically five point seven, right? So we actually have seven here. So five point seven. So no, no much change there. Okay, and on the second line, so we got four here at one's place. So that means from five, there is additional one from one's place is missed, right? So where is it? So if we want to fill in the tens place, that means what? That means we'll have additional. So from one, uh, one from one's place to move that to the tens place. That is what? That is. 10 over 10, right? So 10 over 10 is 1. So basically, we are, we, are, we are going to add additional 10 to the tens place here. So plus what we have or, or what we already have at the tens place, we have 7, right? So plus 7 there. So we got what we got 17 here at the tens place. Okay, so let's try another example. So we let's make 15.72 uh, in two different ways. Okay, so at the first row, so let's take a look. We have the ones, uh, tens place, ones place, uh, tens, and hundreds, right? So in the first row, uh, for the tens place, we have one, and the ones place, we have five, right? So we got 15, right? So one, five, 15, that's good. Point six. So at tens place, we have six. So, but we got seven here, right? So what happened to the additional one? So from, from, from the row, obviously, it's, it should move to the hundreds place right so hundreds place so we, we, we already have we know from the beginning that we already have two at the hundreds place right we already have two there and we move one over there right so so again so what should be we'll add one here right so that will be 12 at hundreds place okay so let's take a look at the second row. So we we um, the tens place is empty. So what should be? So because let's take a look what we have at ones place, it's fifteen ones. Okay, so fifteen ones is actually one ten with five ones, right? So in this case, we are not going to have anything at tens place. So that will be zero, because we already have fifteen, which is equals to fifteen here. And point, let's take a look. So there's missing, we got missing at tens place, but at, at hundreds place, we got 22. So 22, but actually, uh, at the hundreds place, we should have two, right? So we got extra 20, right? So where this 20 comes, comes from? So it should come from the tens place, right? So actually, we got, we got seven there. And we need to put two from the seven over there. So we got need to put two from seven over there so that it could be 20 plus existing two, right? So two is there, two is there, right? So, so that means we need what we need to do, seven minus two because we move this two from the tens place to the hundreds place right so we will have what we'll have five at the tens place okay 
So let's take a look at more examples. All right. So let's take a look at this one. Okay. So let's make eight point four in three different ways. Okay. So the first uh, we got ones and tens. Right. So at ones place, the first row we have seven. So again, missing one there. So we put the one into the tens place. So in the tens place, we already have what? We already have four, right? From the numbers there. So we add one to the tens place. So we should it should be ten there, right? So ten plus four, we have fifteen here, uh, fourteen here at the tens place, right? So let's take a look at our second row. We have what? We have six there. So again, six at one's place from the eight. So we actually got missing what? How many? So eight minus six. So it should be two be moved to the tens place, right? So again, we have four there already. And uh, we got two moved to the tens from one's place to the tens place. So we'll have what? 20, right? So 20 plus 4 equals what? 24 at the tens place, right? 24. So let's take a look at our third row, right? So, okay, we got missing dot here. So let's put a dot. So at the tens place, we got 44. But we all know that 8.4, right? So 4 is ex existing there. So 40 must comes from what? From the ones place. Okay. So if we put 40 at the ones place, that will be four. Okay. And originally we have what? We have eight at ones place, right? So because four has been moved to what? To here, to the tens place as 40. So what's left in ones place? So we got eight minus four equals what equals four. So that's four left here at one's place. Okay. So let's take a look at another example here. So let's make 25.81 in three different ways. Okay. So again, we got tens, we got ones, we got tens, we got hundreds there. So let's take a look at our first row. So we have the uh, five at one's place. So we got 25, right? So at 10's place, of course, we have two, right? Because it's 25. And we have 11 at 100's place. So it should be one there, right? It should be one there. So we got additional 10, right? So we got additional 10 add it to this one additional 10 added to this one so that 10 must comes from what from the tens place okay so we we all know that we already have what eight at the tens place okay so and know that and we know that a uh, hundred place that means there is one from the tens place to move there and becomes the tens there, right? To becomes the tens there. So that's why eight minus one, which equals what? Equals seven. So we'll have seven at the tens place. Okay, so let's take a look at our second row. So we have one at tens place. So, but actually we do have two we should have two at tens place, right? So that means the additional one, we will move that to the what? To the ones place, okay? So to the ones place. So that means it's what? It's 15 here, okay? It's 15 here. And we got what? Six at tens place. And we know that it should be eight, right? So eight minus six equals what equals two 
That means the the two from the tenth place will be moved to the hundredth place, right? So that will be twenty. So plus what plus what we already have at hundredth place? That's one, right? So twenty plus one, which equals twenty one. So it should be twenty one at the hundredth place, okay? So let's took a look at our final one. So we got twenty five at one's place, and uh, what we what we should have at tenth place. So again twenty five. So we got twenty five here. So nothing left at the tenth place. Okay, so that's why zero, and hundredth place is one, right? So we got what. One at hundredth place, and we got eight at tenth place. So that's eight here. So there's nothing need to change here. So that's eight. So now let's take a look at our example here. How we can do regroupings? Okay. So we got eighty three point sixty two. All right. So first, it equals what eighty plus three plus six over ten plus two over hundred. Okay. So basically, eight at tens place, it's eighty. Three at ones place, it's three. Six at tens, it's six over ten, and two at hundreds. That's two over hundred. Okay. So that's the expansion form of this number. And now we can transform that to what? Eighty plus two plus one plus five over tens plus one over ten plus two over hundred. Okay, so where where this comes from? So eighty is eighty, right? So eighty is eighty, and three has been separated into two plus one, right? And the six over ten is separated to five over ten plus one over ten. Okay, and two over hundred is two over hundred. Nothing changed to this one. So again, the only change here is three. It's being separated to two plus one, and six over ten changed to five over ten plus one over ten. Okay, so the next step, what we've done here, is one. Is basically equals to what? Equals to ten over ten, right? And one over ten is basically what? Ten over one hundred, right? So otherwise, no change here. So we just changed one to ten over ten, and we just changed one over ten to ten over one hundred. Okay. So, what we've got here finally. So let's take a look. So we got eighty plus two, eighty-two, right? Plus what? Fifteen over ten. So where is this fifteen over ten comes from? So that's ten over ten plus five over ten here. So together it's fifteen over ten. So plus twelve over one hundred, so that's ten over one hundred plus two over one hundred. That is twelve over one hundred. So that's one format of regrouping we can do with decimals, and hope you all understand the regrouping with decimals from this lesson. That's everything for today's lesson. Please click like if you like this video, and subscribe my channel. Thank you.